Hey, good morning. Well, I'm going to be starting a big project here soon. And part of my big project, I require an air stone. Now I know I can go buy an air stone, but that's no fun, right? you got to build it yourself. It's part of the fun and the experiment of it. Now, my first idea was to make a hole. If you can see that. I made a hole in a uh, fast food Chinese container. Bought my air hose in. Just shoved it in a T so it wouldn't get clogged. And buried it with rock or just pebbles. Placed the cover on top and put a bunch of holes in the cover. Now this actually worked pretty good. There was an issue though, when I went to actually test it in the water, it would float around near the bottom. If I put enough weight in it, it would stay at the bottom. And I poked, I don't know, It's you're not going to be able to see it on uh, camera, but there's about seven holes across times eight or nine. You know, there's probably close to 60 or 70 holes in this thing. And it worked, and I was getting bubbles out of it, but only maybe about eight or ten of the holes at a time because, you know, however your bucket was sitting just a little bit, the air would go to one side or the other, and, you know, it would fill up the cavity a little bit, and it would start floating around. But anyway, I made one larger hole in the middle, and that definitely shot air up through, and it definitely worked. And then it came to me, let's do something a lot easier. Still going to use the stones, but I'm going to use something that everyone should have because, you know, you're all growing your own food, right? And I've never seen this done, and it came to me. Canning jar. Check out this idea. Bear with me. This is the only disposable piece, right? You should be using new lids every year anyway. You should never be reusing your lids because of the gasket wears out and you really don't want that after a year or so sitting in a, a couple of years or whatnot just sitting there. Now you can use an old lid, I just happen to have a new lid. What we're going to do is I'm not going to bore you with this so I'll jump ahead is I'm going to drill a hole in this. Alright, here we are with our lid. I already stuck the hose through. You want of course use a smaller bit and then use a bit the same size of the hose. You see it on my drill here. And then basically you want the hole the exact same size as the hose. And when you push it through, you can see it's a very snug fit. So now the fun part is bring your hose down so it's a little bit longer than your uh, jar. Half put it in. Now I'm just taking rocks out of my Chinese container. Don't hear that every day, huh? Just filled up. doesn't need to be all the way to the top and now you see I can't really push that down so I just pull the hose up very carefully up through the top. Now you'll notice I made a little mistake. Now I got my ring on. That's okay. I just detached the hose from my pump. Now I can put my ring on. Now when you tighten this down don't like crank it until you can't you know pretend you're canning. Just you know slug or uh, not slug, yeah slug, uh, snug, and then back off just a little bit. So it should feel, you know, basically when you're canning, you want that air, when you go to boil your uh, canning jar, it, the hot air will force its way out of the top of the ring. We're kind of exploiting that design, and we actually are forcing air into it and pushing the air out all the time. Now the rocks, the rocks are nice because this, it will not float around. Almost no water will get inside this. And it will just, you know, push air out through the ring. If you crank the ring down really hard, no air can get out. And you'll notice the, your bubble popper on the top will actually pop up and your air pump will get very mad and, you know, because air can't get out, you know. But we want air to get out, so you make it a little looser and air will just come bubbling out. Now, if you want a very fine bubble, what you can do is crank it down, but when you drill your hole up here, 
drill a bunch of small holes as small as you can get like I don't know geez be the the smallest drill bit you can get your hands on and make like a half dozen or a dozen holes and then you can get a finer aeration I kind of want bigger aeration bigger bubbles without just sticking a pipe in my bucket so this seems to work now I'll show it working right now okay bear with me I don't have you on the tripod anymore as you can see I made one earlier because I'm gonna have two buckets running for my experiment I'll get into the experiment in a different video but I needed a that's one going nice big bubbles I like bigger bubbles like I said you can put holes in the top if you want tiny bubbles then just put the lid down tighter but that's just with the lid being loose now you'll see I'll have the one I just made right here and I'll go and add this in now it might take some adjustment like how tight you want the lid so I may have to pull this in and out a couple times actually I can already hear the pump getting mad hold on hold on there we go you can hear hear the tone difference in the pump it means air is getting trapped in here is too tight but here we go and I'll pull out the old one just so you can see okay. like I said I have to adjust it a little bit just to get the bubbles I like but I can't really hold the camera and do that at the same time this one I already adjusted so that's why I'm getting a nice amount of bubbles out of it let's see if I can do this one-handed yeah no I'm not gonna be able to but anyway that's how to make a air bubbler aerator agi water agitator out of a canning jar <laughs> have a good day everyone take care